Hello everyone. Today I will be showing you guys how to do pattern in text. Um, just like this. As you can see, I have used three different patterns in my text. I will be showing you how to just do one. But once you learn how to do pattern in one, you'll be able to do something like this. Um, today I'm going to just be using the star pattern. So go ahead and open whatever pattern you want to use. And make sure that it's open. You can minimize it if you want. Then we're going to go ahead and open a new image. I'm going to do mine 500 by 200 so that I have plenty of room to work with. Um, make sure it's a raster background. And make sure you have transparent check. Click OK. So first, you want to go ahead and click on your text tool. Then go up and pick your font. I'm going to be using 2P's Gone Postal. It's a nice big fat font. Then um, choose your size, your bold, italic, underline, all of that good stuff. Your stroke, um, how big you want the border to be. And make sure it's create as vector. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is pick your stroke or your foreground color. Um, I'm going to be using that light gray. Then you want to go ahead and click on the background color. And then you want to go up here and click on pattern. So when you click here to look for your pattern, as you see, anything that you have open is going to show up here. I have all of these patterns open right now in my PSP, as well as my text and all that. So I'm going to be using the star pattern. So go ahead and click on your pattern, which should be the first one should appear there on the first one and click OK. So now go ahead and click inside your image and type out your text. And click OK and there you go. You can go ahead and size it to wherever you like. Position it wherever you want it. Okay, here we go. Alright, um, I'm going to go ahead and add a inner bevel to this. So if you want to go ahead and do that, go to Effects, 3D Effects, and Inner Bevel. And the settings I am using would be the same ones that I always use. Bevel number 2, width 10, smoothness 25, depth 5, ambience negative 27, shininess 35, color white, Angle 135, Intensity 35, and Elevation 60. And now I'm going to add a Drop Shadow. Actually, so that looks pretty good. Let's see if we can move on from that. Let's just do plain black. Okay. I did a 1-1 one, one, um, AD Opacity and... 3.00 blur for this. And let's see. I'll go ahead and add a glass effect. No. How about Yeah, pretty much looks horrible. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave it like that with my inner bevel and a in a shadow, but as you can see you can Go ahead and add more effects to it and do whatever you like. And that was pretty simple, so <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Barely five minutes. Um, in the case that you want to do something like I did, you just would let's see. Type out your text. Okay. Once you already have your first pattern, all you have to do is highlight the second text that you want to change the pattern to. And then click on your background and go ahead and choose another pattern. And ta-da! Then you can go ahead and add your inner bevel and your drop shadow and whatever else you may want to do. So there you go. That is how you get pattern text. So hopefully this helped you out and I didn't confuse you in any way. So 
Yeah, well, have a good day. Okay, now I'm going to show you the second way to do a pattern tag. So the first thing you want to do is have your pattern open. You can minimize that. And you want to have a blank canvas open to set to whatever size you want. Okay, so go ahead and pick your, your text tool. Um, set your font. Um, of course, fat fonts are always better when doing pattern tags. I'm going to be using AG Cooper Black at a size of 38. Um, make sure you have anti-alias sharp, your stroke width 3.0, and create a vector. Then you want to go ahead and choose your foreground color and set your background color to transparent. Okay, then you just go ahead and click on your canvas and write your text. Okay, once you have your text written out, as you can see it has a border, go ahead and pick your magic wand tool. Make sure you set to mode add, match mode RGB value, tolerance 20, um, contiguous checked, feather 0, um, anti-alias checked, and outside. And then go ahead and click inside every letter until you see the little marching ants inside the word, like this. Next thing you want to do is go up to Selections, um, Modify, and Expand. And you want to expand by 2. You click OK. Then you're going to choose your Flood Fill tool. Um, go over to your foreground and click on it. When you get this window, go up to the tabs and choose Pattern and go ahead and look for your pattern, which should be the first or second one, and click OK. Now you have your pattern set as a foreground. Go ahead and check, um, I mean, click on your raster layer, the raster one layer, and then click inside the marching ants. Then you can just go to selections, select none. And here is where your creativity can just run wild. You can go ahead and do an inner bevel on the inner part of the of the text, or maybe even do it to the border. You can just merge, do it all together, and do the glass on top. Um, well. Pretty much the possibilities are endless. Let me see what I can come up with. Right here. Oh, my eye candy is not working. Well, it is, but it isn't. Okay. I'm going to put some glass and then maybe chrome out the outside because it is gray. That looks pretty cool, huh? <laughs> and well, that's pretty much it. You can just let your imagination run wild here and make some really nice. Whoops. See, so you don't want to do that. Hold on. All right. So then, once you're done doing um, whatever you want to do to each layer, you can just right click, merge, and merge all flatten. Not flatten, I'm sorry. Um, merge all visible. Merge visible. And then to get rid of the excess space, just click Control C and then Control Shift V. Which didn't work for me. Hold on. Control C and then Control Shift V. Okay, there you go. And you see how we got rid of all that excess space? And there you go. That's how you do it. So hopefully this helped you out and you can use both ways to make your text all pretty. And well, I'm off to bed because it's like four in the morning and I haven't been able to sleep, so I was doing this. Um, so yeah, good night and good morning and good day. <laughs>